Blue Jackets get set to play their second preseason game tonight in St. Louis. Jody, let's take it a step further than that. This is the seventh day of this training camp. There was a group that got to play in a game last night against the Chicago Blackhawks. There's a totally different group that gets to play tonight. But for some players, I mean, this could be a, a one-time chance to play in a preseason game. So every minute they get is going to be important. Advantage to the group playing tonight too, Bob. They watched last night. They saw the rules in effect. Uh, they're anxious to get out there and prove themselves. They saw some guys that they're competing with do good things. There's nothing worse as an athlete or a player than to be sitting and watching your sport. And that's what a lot of guys did last night. Awesome opportunity tonight again. This is a dress rehearsal, as you said, game number two, day seven of camp. And these guys, I think every game naturally is going to get more and more exciting. You're going to see guys get more accustomed to systems and uh, it'll get a lot smoother than it was last night. Well, you talked about some of the rule changes, and we saw that in the first preseason game, the slashing penalties, and even more so the face-off violations that can result in a penalty. The Blue Jackets did have that happen to them. Jordan Maletta is a young guy looking to create more awareness within the organization about his abilities, and he was watching those face-offs last night and trying to prepare himself for tonight. Definitely be the bigger guy. I like to get right over the circle and use my size and strength. And now it's a lot more just timing. It's uh, the smaller, quicker guys have a lot more timing, and they're after trying to just take away the cheating on the draws, I guess you can call it. But I mean, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. If you're not cheating, you're not trying. Jordan Maletta, he's a big guy, and it's it's great to hear him understand what's happening in that faceoff circle because as for him to explain his approach now, six foot three, that's a big boy in there. He was probably imposing that size on the opposition. He's got to get quicker, and uh, interesting, that second guy that went in last night had no chance of jumping on the draw, no chance of anticipation. He had to wait to that puck at the ice, and it will be interesting to see tonight how those are called in St. Louis. Well, Maletta is one of the younger guys, and we've been talking about them, of course, because it's training camp, and they are trying to win a job. But there are some veteran guys here that are trying to win a job, too, and one of those is former Ohio State Buckeyes Zach Dalpy, who is in this camp. He's going to play tonight. Now, dalpy has been with several different teams in the National Hockey League, but he has reflected and really put a lot of thought into what he has to do in this camp to get attention. At some point you have to play what or do what got you here and then at some point you have to show them a little bit more. So um, I think I'm going to be balancing out the, between the two. Um, you know, obviously I like my speed and, and I like to shoot pucks, but I, I want to play well defensively. So you kind of have to be a little bit more uh, dimensional. Dolpy, a veteran guy, you can tell by his comments right there. He's going to play with a balanced attack and he understands that the opportunity, the window is not very big. So look for him to be an impact here tonight. When he was saying you have to do what got you here and then do a little bit more, it makes me think of your stories of training camp. When they told you they know you can fight, you've got to do something else. <laughs> yeah, well, we haven't seen a fight yet. We saw a few hits last night, but you're right. you got to specialize in something, and that was my approach. Fight until they say stop and then try to score some goals. <laughs> Let me ask you about um, – traveling in the preseason because it's different than the regular season regular season you leave the day before the game you get a chance to get in get settled and play the next day preseason on the plane fly in play fly home more of a grind of course and a lot of these guys have been in the minors they've dealt with it but it's not easy it's different uh, you don't get all that time in the city to get acclimated kind of get settled in do your pregame routine in the city it didn't affect Chicago last night, and it doesn't affect teams on the road. The travel is just an hour flight here today. Um, it's something that actually you really try to shut the engine down for a bit in the afternoon, and these guys will do it on the flight this afternoon. But uh, it's nothing like being in a hotel room kind of getting your thoughts together. So you're right, it will be different. It might have a little effect on a couple guys, but these guys understand as pros, put it aside and show what you got. And there will be some veteran players, some mainstays here with the Blue Jackets that are in the lineup tonight. Cam Atkinson, Matt Calvert, Jack Johnson, Ryan Murray are going to be there. So, again, we'll see balance tonight. Milano, Bjorkstrand, these guys are fighting for positions, not only on the team, but where on the team, uh, if they can make an impact. So all these guys, Atkinson wants to play with, let's say, Panarin or whoever. He wants to show his best. That's something that's interesting for a veteran player. You don't want to come in and be slotted or fall back in the lineup. You want to always go up. So these guys are looking for ice time, situational ice time, PK and power play. Uh, it, there's a lot at stake here uh, in these preseason games. 
Tonight's game gets underway at 8 o'clock. Jody and I will be there at the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis, and we've got pregame coverage starting at 745. You'll be able to get that on the Blue Jackets radio network and at bluejackets.com. So that's it for our game day preview as we work our way through training camp presented by Ohio Health. For Jody Shelley, I'm Bob McElligot.